Welcome back, Toy Fans, to episode 167 of Ronald's Reviews. But on today's episode, we've got more gift donations. Cue the match. Welcome back, everyone. Now, like I said in the intro, today we have got yet more gift donations to the channel, and I am absolutely staggered. In the last few weeks, I've received so many gift donations. It is so humbling. I absolutely cannot believe the generosity in this community. Uh, and we've got two this week, one that I do know about from our Connor over at Fuller's Figures, and one that I don't know what it is from our Ron over in the US. And again, I am just absolutely mind blown by this. Now, I am going to talk about gift donations at the end of the video a little bit more, but let's waste no more time and go take a look what the guys have been kind enough to send us. Okay, here we go, folks. Now. This has come all the way from Ireland, from our Connor over at Fuller's Figures. Amazing channel, lovely guy. I will leave a link in the description afterwards, so please check it out. I know I'll be grateful to have you. Uh, I do know what this is. This is fresh on the back of last week's video. Uh, so let's get it open and see what Connor has sent us. And there we go. So the very, very generous Connor has sent us the Retro Collection, Empire Strikes Back, Bounty Hunter 2 pack for IG-88 and Dengar. Well, Connor, thank you so much, mate. Now, I just want to say before we carry on, Connor didn't really give me a choice in this. After last week's video, he messaged me and just said, it's done, this is on its way, I've sent it, so there's no arguments. Um, yeah, it was very funny, so I couldn't even argue with him. It was already on the way when he messaged me, but thank you, Connor, I love this. Okay, so like last week, we're going to get into this, take a look at the figures, but also compare them to their vintage counterparts. And there we go everyone, so out of the box and once again I think they look great. I'm going to start with Dengar because out of the two he was probably my least favourite. Um, I always felt he was a little bit of an underwhelming figure back when we got him in the vintage line. Um, just one of those figures that was never really anyone's favourite, but um, yeah, great to have the figure in hand though. Uh, the image on the card back, maybe not the best, uh, again a little bit grainy, but it's just nice to see that original vintage image that we all recognise. And I'm really, really pleased to have him in my collection. I think they've overdone the white, the edging on these, on these guys. I mean, there's a huge, huge white just line straight across the top of these. Of these cards it's not even like it looks like weathering it's just a really thick white line across the top there so i think they've misjudged that one but very again like i said very very pleased to have him in my collection and essential when you're collecting the bounty hunters essential for any bounty hunter collections so just got fall on and zuckers to get now uh, i'm sure i'll pick those up and then when we take a look at ig88 now i've got to say with with the retro collection sticker there that image looks a little bit dodgy doesn't it <laughs> um, but i love that image i've got to say and it's nice and clear on the card as well really really good image but i love ig88 just a great character a great bounty hunter i'm really pleased to have him in the collection and the figure itself looks quite big in the packaging as well it looks a great figure they look like they've done a really good job with this guy but like I said, just very, very pleased to have them both in my collection. They look great displayed, like I said. And I love that I'm getting these on the card now. 96, the original 96 figures, I've said before, I am now sticking to the original 96 when it comes to retro collection uh, because that's just where my focus is now. Um, we're not going to look at the back of the cards because they're all the same and it's not nothing to see, just generic writing. But we are going to compare these to their vintage counterparts, so let's do that. Okay, so let's take a look at Dengar first. Now, first impressions is it looks a really good figure, really nice sculpt. His legs look a little bit, I don't know if it looks a little bit bow-legged or if that's just the way he's sat in the plastic and the plastic comes in onto his knees. Just looks a tiny bit like his legs are sort of bowing inwards. I don't know if that's just me. And they look a tiny bit fatter as well than the original version, but uh, does look a good sculpt, does look like it's a nice figure. But there is, I mean, there is one glaring sort of difference that i can see so let's just put him next to his original version now immediately and obviously mine is is old and he's got a little bit of wear but the skin tone on the retro collection figure is far paler far paler and 
I think it looks like his sort of bandages cover slightly more of his face. I don't know if that's just me, but far paler skin. So I'd have to look in my Red 5 book just to see if this guy was released with different skin colours as a variation, but definitely paler skin in the face. Uh, the rest looks pretty good. Uh, the brown looks slightly lighter on his armour um, and a little bit of a less less glossy finish now again mine could look like a glossy finish because it's old and it's been handled so that could be just down to age but other than that looks a good figure but a huge difference on the skin color so i will check my red five book just to see if this guy was released in a variant with paler skin a lot of them were so that could well be the case but but yeah i think they've done a good job with this overall okay so let's move on to ig88 and there's ig88 now again like I said, first impressions, it looks like a lovely figure. But again, like most of the retro collection, there is some sort of differences. Um, and IGA, yeah, I always forget just how big of an action figure he is. He actually towers a lot of the other 3.75 Star Wars figures. He's huge. Um, but a very nice figure. Uh, there is one glaring difference straight away, which we will get to. But um, I think the figure itself does look great the molding and the sculpting is softer the features are softer which is a, a theme for these retro collection figures the features are always a bit softer um but let's bring his vintage version in and put it next to it now one of the first things that occurs to me is it's a very different color the retro collection version is more of a gray rather than a silver um, my vintage version still has a, a sort of silver look to it whereas the retro collection it's definitely like a darker color and it's more of a gray rather than a silver um i mean don't get me wrong it does look good it looks really nice in the packaging but yeah it comes across as a gray rather than a silver the vintage version is a very different color now i am missing his rifle as you can see i've got the imperial blaster in fact it should be a blue blaster really i've put a black one in his hand just so he's got a weapon on the on the star destroyer play set but yeah i mean the, the sculpt itself looks great all the features are the same like i said the eyesight is softer on the retro collection but the color is the biggest difference it really is different it looks like, like i said it looks more gray than it does silver but still a great looking figure and i'm very very pleased to have it in my collection so thank you again connor we will get everything back on the table at the end and address that properly but yeah thank you so much mate i love these um but let's move on to see what our ron has sent us okay here we go everyone and this is from ron uh, now, I have no idea what's in here. Um, Ron is very, very generous. He sends me a lot. I've got to admit, he sends me a lot. Um, he's very, very generous that way. But look at that, $30 as well. So whatever this is, $30 on top. So generous. But let's get into it, see what Ron has sent us. Okay, so we've got a note. Oh, wow it's a rather big note let me just take a quick read okay so it's quite a long note guys so i'm not going to read the whole thing start to finish because it'll take a while but the general gist is ron was at a toy show recently and he found something that he saw that he felt had to be my collection he said he immediately thought of me and thought that needs to be in luke's collection but there is something else in here as well we need to take a look at that it says he's not sure if it's going to work so i'm sure all will become clear in a minute and he's made a small mistake in here as well which we will also address so let's take a look Oh, wow. Look at that. We have got a Centurions DVD. That's awesome. I've been looking at these online, actually, and just not quite picked one up yet. So, so what Ron's saying is he didn't actually take into account the region, so he, he's worried that this isn't going to work on my player. So, But don't worry, Ron. We will check that ASAP, but I'm sure it will. Oh, that looks awesome. I've been looking at these. Okay, we'll check that out very soon. Okay, what else have we got? Oh, wow. Okay. Now this, this can only really be one thing in here. So I'm now a bit nervous because I get the feeling this is going to be something expensive and Ron tends to do these kind of things. Oh my God, are you, are you kidding? Oh my God. Ron, in the dude, in the nicest possible way, you've got to stop doing this, man. These things are not cheap. Ah, oh, so everybody, as you can see, this is a carded 
Bruce Sato mask adventure pack in his rescue mission outfit. Now, oh my God, this is awesome. And he's even put it in a case. Now, the mistake I said earlier, guys, is he's, he's, he picked up the wrong case, so it actually doesn't fit properly. It's not in the top holder. But, oh, Ron, what? Oh, I've no idea what to say, mate. I don't have this in my collection. I've got a loose version sent to me very kindly by our DTM Dave. But, my God, let's get this guy on the table and take a closer look. And there we go, everyone. So there is Bruce Sato in his rescue mission outfit. Now, back in the 80s, as well as the vehicles and twin figure packs, Mask also released what they call adventure packs. So you may recall in my collection, again, very kindly sourced for me by Ron. I've got um, Miles Mayhem in his Venom's Revenge adventure pack. I've also got Matt Tracker as a custom in his Jungle Challenge adventure pack. And these are just so cool because it was um, characters that we knew from the franchise. So like Bruce Sato, but in alternative outfits with different accessories and things like that. So in this case, rescue missions. So Bruce Sato would put on all this gear, all his accessories are there, and he would rescue people from the air or from the land. And as you can see, it's got all his accessories there. Uh, it's got his blaster gun, he's got his skis, uh, he's got his um, grappling hooks, he's got his backpack, it's got everything. Uh, and it is just awesome. It's also got his mask as well, as you can see. And these are just amazing. So this is obviously original carded, and it is punched and there is a tiny little bit of a, a rip on the card there but again you know some of the corners are a tiny bit curled over but that does not bother me one bit i love these uh, i intend to get more if i can but they generally tend to be very expensive obviously dependent on condition but ron dude you are absolutely going above and beyond uh, i had no idea you were doing this but thank you so much man i love it uh, and a happy accent as it happens because um considering you got the wrong acrylic case weirdly i ordered an acrylic case for a star wars figure that i've got recently a carded figure and i ordered the wrong case i ordered a mask case so as it happens happy accident i can just swap the two over then i've got a case that will fit this figure and a case that will fit my star wars figure so dude that has worked out really really well uh, but man i love this let's take a look at the back so there we go as you can see there's a really detailed backing card now look how awesome are the backs of these mask cards because they give us tons of images and information not just a ton of writing we've got all the images of bruce sato there look with all his gear on so he's got all his gear there skiing he's actually on a zip line there as well the skis then double up as like a propeller so he can fly as like a, a single man helicopter he's got his backpack there and then we've got a detailed image of all his equipment so we've got the grappling launcher there we've got the grappling hooks we've got his skis we've got his backpack his mask it's just amazing i absolutely love these and then down in this corner like a lot of kind of stuff back in the day we've got the proof of purchase as well but my god this is amazing ron i don't know what to say i really don't thank you videos just don't seem enough for people when they send things but man this is awesome and then back to the front like i said happy accident i have got a case for this now ron so don't worry this is going to go lovely in an acrylic case but man i've no i've no words i've no words mate it, it's wonderful i love it and it will be treasured as everything you've sent in my collection okay let's get everything back on the table now we'll wrap up and there we go everyone everything back on the table and wow guys i don't know what to say to you both connor i'll address you first now you got in touch with me and said that this makes us even because last year i gifted you the retro um gi joe snake eyes and storm shadow this absolutely does not make us even because they made us even because you gifted me the trap jaw origins so once again i mean you're dead um but yeah thank you so much buddy i absolutely love them again of course they will be treasured uh, i just need one bounty hunter pack to go now and i'm sure i'll pick that up uh but talking about being in people's debt ron am i in your debt my god i am in your debt thank you so much for bruce sato and his rescue mission it is amazing it is all there safe and sound now in his new acrylic case he will be going into my mask collection and of course again like the bounty hunters from connor he will be treasured um, i am absolutely blown away by that mate thank you so much you do too much um, everybody does too much you know the community is so generous and i just want to address gifts very quickly the last few weeks i've received so many gifts and i just want to say guys i am humbled to anyone that has ever sent me anything not just recently but anybody who takes the time to watch the channel viewers subscribers things like gift donations i am almost embarrassed by it um but i feel so guilty as well i mean in a good way i feel guilty don't get me wrong i'm not trying to say don't send me things but god when i can't return the favor i just feel so bad but i just want to say you know just 
to know that people enjoy the channel and support the channel to the point where they want to do things like this it blows me away and will continue to blow me away i believe i am very lucky to be surrounded by some amazing people and be part of the best community on the youtube landscape in my opinion so i just want to say to everyone thank you so much again and connor and ron thank you guys as well um i'm blown away and of course thank you for the centurions dvd ron i will try that asap i'm sure it'll work but i will let you know but i'm sure there'll be no problems but yeah there we go everyone i hope you enjoyed that if you're new to the channel thanks for stopping by and giving me a shot i hope you'll consider leaving a like and subscribing and if you're one of my existing viewers and existing subscribers thanks for sticking with me everyone i really do appreciate it Leave any comments or questions in the comment section below. I always try to read everyone's comments and get back to everybody. And as always, keep collecting. I'll see you next time.